Okay, guys, just got a package from FW Arms. Let me cover this. And if you recall, uh, I received the FW Arms shell plate. Is the gold one uh, a few weeks ago, and I was unable to receive the prime time because there was still some errors that needed to be addressed. And today I am happy to say that the long-awaited prime time is here. There's the arm that connects over the gold tip that moves the primer slide a little disappointing i thought it was going to be like red and it's more of like a burgundy you can see the difference between the red quantity uh, out, of, out of the spencer and this uh, you can tell but um so yeah this is that and then this connects Sort of like so to the uh, primer tube and then it actuates so that's for the unboxing uh, oh hold on it came with the like a ratchet paw that I'll, I'll just change to this one and I got some more of, of these um, locator tabs and I believe the ones that I got previously might have been the wrong ones although although they fit so I'm gonna have some extra of these and the spring, the return spring, and extra, extra, um, I forget what these are called, but I believe they're extra. So, and these are extra for this. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you when I uh, put this together. All right, welcome comers and newcomers. Eric here. Glad to have you back. Today we have a special video because today we're going to be installing in the Dylan 1100 the new, I think this is uh, one of few out in the market, the new Prime Time by FW Arms as well as their 9mm shell plate. It's coated, it makes a rotation easier and less bumpy. Among other friends, um, uh, among other things, it has, if you can see here, a beveled edge that allows the case uh, to enter a little better than the regular um, cases. Now, this is going to be the installation of this on a non-automated, this is what they call the non-automated Dylan. I don't have the um, automation yet, the Mark 7 or so. Now today I will be uh, pulling apart the press, uh, removing the case feeder, removing the tool head, the shell plate, uh, and the uh, primer arm so I can install the new parts. Just bear with me while I take care of this and then we'll do the installation.
uh, rod holder. This is a unique tech part. And I've had to remove this, so I had to find the correct Allen key for that, and it took me a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And I'm also gonna go ahead and remove the uh, housing that attaches the uh, old primer um, assembly.
I think at this point what I'm gonna do is I am gonna give it a little clean. See, it's uh, a little bit dirty. You can tell. Yeah, it's a little dirty, so I'm just gonna give it a quick clean. Okay, welcome back. Guys, I just finished giving the press a thorough clean. Uh, let me bring you in closer so you take a look. So I removed the shell plate, the tool holder, the uh, ratchet spring. Oh, wait, the ratchet spring back here. And uh, it was really dirty, so I went ahead and cleaned that. I cleaned the primer slide as best I could. And now I think I'm just gonna start the uh, installation process. Um, one of the first things that I noticed the kit came with, it was with a uh, ratchet paw. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and install that now. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to install the new FW Arms uh, shell plate. Somehow came under a little bit of grease. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. But in order to do that, we have to... Uh, let's see, we have to replace the ball spring and the indexing ball. We have to put back the primer rod. Doesn't matter which way, I don't know. And then I think we just go with the shell plate at this point. Going in. Oh man, that feels nice. And then we'll just go ahead and install the uh, shell plate holding ring. Oh, it's a little, a little dirty still. Let's give it a quick Quick clean here. Got some some powder in the uh, in the rings. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. And the the key to this is you want to be able to tighten it up to the point where there is some flex on the uh, shell plate, but not not a lot. Okay, so right here you touch the shell plate, let me bring you in closer, you touch the shell plate and there's still some wiggle, means we need to keep going down. Okay, there's still a little wiggle, but I think I'm happy, I think I'm happy with that amount of wiggle, and now we just tighten it up all the screws here. Give a little a little tightness. This one. going the wrong way then and then just give it a small torque not gorilla style but you know you want it you want it tight
Okay, that should be that's just a little bit of play, maybe a little bit more than I wanted to. Okay guys, so I had to go back and uh, make it a little tighter. It's a little too loose for my liking. Okay, so now I guess, let's see what else. We just need to go for the, for the tool holder. Hold this. Okay. Now it's flush in the top. I'm gonna get the bolt installed. And usually, what I when I do this, I uh, I don't go start crazy. In fact, I usually make it. Um, and tight. And as I move it and ratchet, oh, but as I ratchet it down, I make my uh, adjustments. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and start the installation. The first piece that we're gonna go ahead and install is the cam roller. And it already came with the nut uh, in it. And now we're gonna go ahead and screw it all the way, but not all the way tight. See, it's not touching that roller. And we're gonna go ahead and install it. Install it here without touching okay and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, make it make it tight here that's the best we can almost until the nut touches just like that now we'll go up here to our primer to stack go ahead and remove that primer Stick out, unscrew your cap. Go ahead and remove any of the low primer hardware you may have. You may need to deburr. Okay, next we're going to install the cam arm on the uh, primer tube. But first we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna remove this washer and screw from there we don't we don't need those right now okay so there it goes washer and screw put them on our table and we're going to insert with these two uh, cam screws facing the case feeder like so and then we're going to tie them up with a 5 30 seconds uh, uh, key okay guys so let me show you what i've done here so on this side, we have to loosen and go here. We have to loosen these two screws. Where are they? And then we have to adjust the height of this. And this is where the cam arm goes. Okay, so we have to remove, if you recall, this screw and washer uh, and, and the reason why is so that we can insert the the arm into it now once we uh, insert it this washer here has a curved side that curved side goes in and then you screw it temporarily and then on this side of the press 
this uh, prime time arm has like a C, a C channel that is gonna go right on top of the primer slide roller in the back. Now as you roll the, sh the shuttle, hold on, as you roll the shuttle, oh shit, god damn. As you roll the shuttle back and forth, make sure that it is not rubbing. If it is, then you have to come over here and adjust the height, okay? Uh, so that's, that's what we got so far as far as the installation. Make sure that the cam arm is on the right side. of the roller here, like such. Right side.